Hi and welcome to Be Outdoors. I hope you can hear me. Um, it's quite windy today. I'm going to be covering a ground shelter. So a typical ground shelter that people will use for wild camping. The very first thing that you want to do is scout the area out and have a look up there. So basically you don't want to see any deadfall or any widow makers or anything like that and always ensure that the trees that you use are quite solid and stable there's always that element of danger when you camping out in the woods but if you just scout the place out and make sure that absolutely everything is as best as it can be then you should be fine always try and establish the wind direction so basically we got a, like a north northerly eastern wind which is coming from that way it can always change but I do know that this area most of the time the wind is coming this way so ideally I would set my shelter with the back of it facing towards the oncoming wind in this instance I'm going to face it facing you because this is the best angle because I've got the sun behind the camera so in order to sort of be able to show you this is going to be the best scenario so let's get going I'm just going to show you the few things that you're going to need. So you got a length of paracord. Paracord will do fine. It's, you know, you don't have to go for something thicker than paracord. This will do fine. If you do get into it and you want to start improving on, on, on your ridge line and so on, you can have a look at things like Amsteel, which is a very good product. A 3x3 three three top is a typical top used for the setup. Um, you can go bigger if you want and you can enclose the size with a bigger one. But on this setup, that's all you need is a 3x3 three three top. In this instance, I'm using the DD 3x3 three three in olive green. Pegs, some metal pegs, not really necessary. You can get yourself some sticks and so on and um, carve yourself some pegs and when you leave it will just all go back to nature sometimes you do need longer pegs which i'll say stakes because the ground is quite soft and sometimes you'll need really strong pegs which these come in handy um, you can pick these up quite easily on on ebay or amazon or anywhere like that they got this little plastic holder there so they're pretty good and it's as as big as a six inch nail and they quite strong as far as the location when it comes to setting up what you want to try and do is make sure that your ground is clean make sure there's no sticks poking up and everything is sort of quite okay because if you do have something that's poking up out of the ground it's gonna rip your top portion of your top is actually going to act as a ground sheet so you don't want anything poking through that because if you ever do a different setup for a hammock for example you've spoiled your top and your top is it's quite thin quite light so it can it can be ripped and, and poked through quite easily so do be careful I don't like using my top for ground shelters because I, I do a lot of hammocking so for this reason it's, it's not something I like doing. I, I always like bringing an extra um, ground sheet or something like that for that purpose. But for this instance where I'm gonna demonstrate the setup, I'll stick with it. Your ridge line, I would say around about chest height, different for everybody and don't worry about it. You'll end up finding your own type of setup and the way you like doing it. So it's not critical and it's not what I say. It's at the end of the day what makes you feel comfortable. Just, I'll give you a guideline of how I set it up and you can improve on that if you want and you can do it slightly different. You will need two poles. People use walking poles, poles walking sticks. People use adjustable poles. And I tend to think it's okay just to get something from nature and use that. So we'll see what we can do today.
got my ridge line adjusted there, it's nice and taut. Um, now I'm going to concentrate on the top. So we got our top on there. So basically now we want to create the section we're gonna sleep on. That's the ground sheet section. So we'll have a look, have prepared that, and then see how much overhang we got. If you do need to adjust your ridge line down or up in order to get more or less sleeping area and overhang, then do that. For me, I've got my top sloping down and that's what I want. I would then go ahead and put a third ridge line on here just to keep it down so any water can actually come off onto there. But as far as my top is and my ground sheet, I've got enough co coverage there and I can stay there and no problem. I won't get wet or anything like that. The poles you can adjust as you want so you can cut them down and adjust them as you want so that you get that slope down there but this is a typical setup and i'll show you how how nicely it works so just to show you how much space there is on this side here you got enough space to put your bag so that's underneath cover as well i could still move forward a little bit that way so they're great shelters you got something below you and you can put a roll mat or inflatable mattress and then you can put your sleep system on top. I'm fortunate enough to have the NATO 5 season sleeping bag modular system. I don't really need something underneath me but you should always at least a mat underneath or inflatable mattress and that will give you more level of, of comfort as well. But water wise I'll be dry. and. I've got a big field of view in front of me and to the sides so I can see a lot and for me this is brilliant because obviously that's what we come out here for to relax and listen to all the noises and see what's around so when it comes to setting up you've got to decide if you want to ground camp or if you want to use a hammock and be, be a tree dweller or even tent it's completely up to you but both both setups are, are great um, they got they offer different advantages and disadvantages the one advantage you got with ground shelter is that you can actually have a little fire in front of you and um, when you wake up in the morning you don't have to get out of your bed and everything like that in order to get a coffee going you could actually lie here or sit here and just get a coffee going but if you in a hammock then you got that that thing that holds you back is you've got to get out of the hammock to make yourself a little fire to put a coffee on or, or whatever so yeah there's pros and cons but that's something that you've got to sort out for yourself what you're comfortable with and what you, you want out of wild camping and the way that you want your setups to be there's a brilliant video up here on the top tent that you can have a look at i highly recommend it it's another way of setting up if you don't have trees or anything like that and you get yourself a nice shelter.